like and subscribe right this moment or else this will be your new daddy. r slash credit by reddit habits. As an adult, have you ever pooped your pants? What were the circumstances? It's happened twice as an adult. As an 18 year old and a 25 year old. The first instance was on vacation. I was in Chicago visiting fam and was fed a ton. The next day there was more food early in the morning and followed by a quick trip a few miles away. On the way back we were a mile and half away and there was a traffic jam. No bathrooms close by. My sister-in-law was in the car next to me and I didn't feel comfortable sharing that all that farting wasn't the sewer outside. Kept it held for over an hour and that was great considering I was unable to move myself in fear that something would come out. Once we make it back to the house, I had to make it 40 feet to the bathroom without losing it. I remember every step I took, the fear and humiliation waiting for me, and the light at the end of the tunnel. I made it to bathroom, but wasn't able to take my belt off in time. The bathroom floor was half covered in last night's digested food, and on the other side I lay in sadness and relief, as if I had given birth to a demon child. I was in that bathroom alone for another 2 hours cleaning with my own clothes and towels, disinfecting at least 3 times. There were at least 24 family members waiting for me outside wondering what had happened. They saw it in my eyes and never said a word. Somewhere I feel they still laugh about it. I don't want to share the second instance after living through the first one. I'm glad I'm not the only guy here who's been through this. Thanks Opus. Pretty sure I've shared this story before. I was taking a military drug test. If you've experienced this, you know that you have to be observed. Most observers stand behind you and don't actually look because who wants to be a meat gazer? My observer had a point to make. He was going to be observer of year. I could almost feel his breath on my penis. I generally don't get stage fright, but I've never experienced this behavior before. I really had to pee, but it wasn't leaving. I pushed too hard and heard a PRRRRRTTT then went running down my leg. This at least got the guy to back up some. I assume the smell hit him. I filled my bottle, signed the paperwork, and then had to drive back to the barracks to shower and do laundry. Good times. Ha 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 best one yet. This sounds like something my uncle would have done on purpose. He loved being in the navy, but hated dealing with people like that lol. I stood up on my bike. To blast a huge sturbuffet, and I filled my shorts with greasy poo. I had to ride all the way home standing up because I didn't want to get shit on my saddle. Well, this is easily the most poetic comment I've seen on Reddit. LMAO, I still do turbofits while riding on shopping carts. After leaving the grocery store, I had to ride all the way home standing up because I didn't want to get shit on my saddle. I feel like this is a perfect metaphor for 2020. They say that the greatest mark of self-confidence is farting when you have diarrhea. Let's just say that once I felt confident. Haha, <laughs> were you at home? Or in public? I find this to be the most interesting question asked on Reddit at this time and eagerly awaiting the answer. I had a friend at work run slash waddling across the workshop yelling I gambled and lost. I gambled and lost. I did this on my way to a friend's house a few years ago as an adult if that matters i was on public transit i farted and got some bonus output i was a bit lucky that i did not experience explosive containment failure or have an obvious stain on the back of my pants it was just enough to make a mess of my underpants i stayed on the sky train and went to a mall walked into zellers aka shitty canadian warmut and bought some new underwear i found a bathroom Got changed and cleaned up as best as I could. Then I went back to where I was supposed to meet my friend and apologized for being late and explained why. End communication. I really had to go, but I was taking care of a big pit bull who also needed to go outside to pee, so I thought I could take the dog for a short walk first. During the walk, the dog sat down and just wouldn't move. I tried everything. Eventually I felt that I must go home now or I will poop my pants. So I bent down to pick up the pit bull. Rising up from that squat, holding the beast dog, it happened. You shoulder dropped trowel right there and showed the dog how it's done. I did something similar with the dog I looked after. Once I took him on a walk and wherever he took a leak I did the same. 
I swear I saw confusion on the face of this goofy boxer dog. I'm so sorry I'm not a man, but I can't resist. Oh yes, yes, I have. 27 years old at Christmas party in a cocktail dress and heels. Felt a hot gas rumbling my stomach and stepped outside as I felt I just needed to release a little stink bomb and that'd be the end of it. I was making a walking loop away from others so the trajectory of the smell wouldn't aim for their nostrils. Immediately shit myself and obviously there was no fabric to stop it. Thank god I had my purse with my keys. I went straight into the bushes and crab walked to my car. This party was about 45 minutes from my house, and I had 3 others carpooling with me. I didn't care. I got in my car, and took off my dress, to use as a barrier between my car seat and my mud butt. I start driving home, in my bra and underwear, and texted the cowalkers who rode with me, that my room had had a dire emergency, and I had to leave. Offered to pay for their Uber, and breathed a sigh of relief thinking I was in the clear, until I happened upon a DUI checkpoint, which was the nail in my shit coffin. I wasn't drunk by any means, but I had to pass through in my bra and underwear, sitting on a shit covered cocktail dress, all windows down, sobbing uncontrollably. Between sobs, I attempt to tell my story to the officers, but as soon as they realized I was stone cold sober, the look on their faces said just get the fuck out of here. I made it home and cried in the shower like a little bitch. Phew, been holding on to that story for 10 years and haven't told a soul. Damn, I've heard the phrase never trust a fart, but I didn't know it could escalate to that kind of level. It was probably the most this can't actually be happening moment of my life. Something I ate at that party rocked my world. 10 years later, I still won't eat at a party out of fear. Lol. I had a few unexpected juicy ones Zaka gambled and lost. Thought it was going to be a dry fart, but wound up diarrhea was behind the gas. On my way to work and had to take the next highway exit, you turn it and wash myself. Got to work almost an hour late after needing to clean my car seat. I've never full on crapped my pants as an adult, but I've turtled and then my butthole chomped down on the part peeking out trying to resist it from exiting. I guess that's technically shitting your pants. Still needed a shower and change of clothes after that. Sucks but it happens. We like to think we are in full control of our bowels and 98% of the time that holds true. I'd like to point out that using your 98% benchmark, these things happen to you approximately 7 times a year. This man shits himself more than I call my grandma. Dude, call your grandma. Yes, a couple of times. The absolute worst was when I was prepping for colon surgery. For two days I had to drink two different liquids and take a bunch of pills. All designed to clean out your intestines. Colon. It was extremely annoying to have to stay close to a toilet to avoid any accidents. The second day, the before the surgery was the worst. That night I went to bed looking forward to getting the whole ordeal over with early the next morning. Sometime around 3 or 4 in the morning I woke up feeling that something was dreadfully wrong. Then I realized that I was laying in a pool of warm liquid in my bed. I hurried to the bathroom and after I got up from the toilet and cleaned myself off, I turned on the light near my bed and saw a big area of lightly brown fluid where I was laying. It was the most disgusting experience of my life so far. This gave me true shivers down my spine. What was the cleanup like? I was in the US. Army Infantry's basic training in 2003. At dinner chow, we were allowed one piece of cake as a treat. Some dickhead took three pieces and got caught, so we all got in trouble. Trouble being, we had to stand at the position of attention from 6am until 9pm, with only one bathroom break. Well, I had to take a wicked bad shit after breakfast chow. Drill sergeants would not let me go do it. So after a few hours of holding it at the expense of my ass cheeks and upper thigh muscles, I straight up told the drill sergeants, either you'll let me go, or I shit my pants and you'll deal with the smell. They laughed thinking I wouldn't do it, so I did it. I just stood there and shit. The drill sergeants were in my face screaming the whole time. You'd better practice discipline and hold it. To this day, it was one of the greatest feeling shits ever, while simultaneously being the worst. IDK if you know this, but, at the time, my camo pants were tucked into my boots. 
so the shit ran straight down my leg and into my boots. It pulled up in the pants around my calves, and damn did it stink. They made me wait until the last bathroom break to clean off, and even then it was only a 5 minute shower. It was easily 4 hours I stood there in it. Shit was literally dried and crusted to my calves and ankles. Lol, good times. And this here is why I'd never join the military. What point did it make for you all to consciously hold in bodily functions that could have caused medical issues for you all? I just hate hearing stuff like this where you have drill sergeants make decisions that have no basis on anything but sadistic tendencies. Yep. You'd better have some discipline and hold it. Only works for so long. When nature calls, there ain't a voice or mail to go to. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our daily videos.